Okay, so today in the shop, what we're gonna be doing is putting a Nibby race carb onto an X22 GT 250. Uh, it's a little bit different. There's gonna have to be a couple little modifications, but you're really gonna enjoy this carb on this bike. Uh, it will get rid of the electric uh, choke on it. Um, so it, uh, it'll be a little bit different to start, but we'll go through, I'll run through all that and uh, I'll show you how to do that. Um, this carb does give a lot more performance to the motorcycle itself. It, it, you're gonna like it a lot better. Um, so let's get started. You're not gonna need many tools. Uh, what you are gonna need is a number five um, Allen key. Absolutely, every one of these fairing bolts is number five. I've got a dual driver here with a number five on the end, so it's really nice. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and you're gonna need that to take off uh, the seat. You're gonna probably need a Phillips screwdriver, set of needle nose pliers, just a few things. It's like I said, it's not gonna be a, a really hard thing to do, but let's uh, we can go ahead and get started. So you don't have to take all the fairings off, but we're basically gonna take this fairing right here off. We're gonna take this fairing off right here. We're gonna take the seat off. And that should be enough. Um, we shouldn't have to take the tank off or anything. Carb is right underneath here. It gives us lots of access to get into it through the sides or the top. I'm also gonna take off the other side. So uh, let's get started here. I'll go ahead and pop this side off. Underneath here is gonna be a screw for here. That's gonna be a Phillips. You're gonna need that. Um, so we'll put that down there. Now, when you're taking this fairing off, it has a rubber grommet up here and two rubber grommets down here, one here and one here. You're just gonna put your hand underneath, give it a little pull towards you. Give it a little wiggle. Don't pull really hard or don't force down because you will snap these off and you don't wanna do that. Now, when you lay this down, I say this in almost every video, but don't lay it down on the face. It'll all get scratched. Lay it down on the back of it like this. So it just lays down flat like that. It doesn't get scratched. That out of the way. We'll go ahead and take our Phillips screw out here. Slip that underneath the bike. Okay, pop that tab off again. That tab, lay it down on the back side of it. Uh, here's our carb here, so we're going to uh, be taking this bad boy right out of here and uh, installing our new one. So. Now we're gonna take, there's a bolt right underneath here. It's the same, number five. Like that. And now I'm just gonna go to the other side and uh, I'm gonna do the other side and then I'm, I'm gonna come right back and I'll show you how to take the seat off. Okay, so I'm back. I took off the other side. Now uh, you have to just take the seat off. The seat is very easy. You grab on each side, lift up at the front, and then just slide back, and it'll pop right up. You'll see there's just two tabs, and they line up right here. Uh, next, we're gonna take the carb out. Now, to take the carb out, you're gonna need a 12 mil wrench, um, and you're gonna need also an eight mil for the other side. Um, so once we get, uh, we get down here, if you notice the cable right there, that's a 12 mil, so we're gonna have to take that off. I am gonna move the camera up and forward so we can uh, look at what we're gonna be taking off and what we're gonna be doing. Um, there's gonna be a couple things that don't need to be here anymore. There's gonna be a, a great here. This is, these are vacuum lines that, that the, the bike is just not gonna need anymore. So I'm gonna show you how to fix these vacuum lines. Uh, you do want them to rotate around the air so it doesn't uh, make a pocket. So with the vacuum lines, all we're gonna do is I'm gonna pop it off here. Because we can't have our intake right here open, right? So um, we're gonna pop this line off. We're just gonna make a return line. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have anywhere to go. It just returns to itself. So uh, we'll do that in a minute. Uh, so you can go ahead and take that line off. You can go ahead and take this off. For that, you're gonna need a 12 mil. You get that key, or you just have to get this cable off. We're gonna have to modify this cable for the new carb anyway. But I'll show you how to do that too. And I'll show you how to do that at home. You don't need to go anywhere. You don't need to buy a fancy new cable. I'll show you how to do it with this one. Okay, so we're gonna disconnect that. And then you're gonna take a, a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, I'm just gonna grab a Phillips screwdriver and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're gonna take off our intakes. Uh, we're gonna do the front one first. 
uh, and it's just a Phillips screwdriver. So you just have to go down from the bottom, and loosen it off. And we'll get that curb out of the way. And just loosen it enough that it moves. I am gonna loosen it a little bit more. Cause there is a lip on the carb. So you wanna loosen it a little bit. There you go. And then the other one is the best way to loosen it is from the top. So if we come over the top here, it's right down in there. That screw right there, right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. And then we're going to uh, remove the wiring. So if you look at the wiring right here, you unplug here. You take that plug off the side of the carburetor. It's this one right here. Or sorry, off the side of the <clears throat> where your thermostat is. And we're gonna change that and put one of those back on there, but I'll show you that in a little while. Um, and we're gonna come down here. These are the two plugs that plug to your carb. You're not gonna need these anymore. Um, this is for the electric choke and you don't have an electric choke anymore. So the bike doesn't have to choke itself. We're gonna choke it ourselves. So now you can just put that ground cable from the engine up. Um, so now the carb, it will technically come out of there. So I got my back one off. And if I shake it back and forth, it should come off the engine. There you go. Like that. There you are. And it's off. Um, and we're going to disconnect um, our gas line, our fuel line's on the other side. But before we disconnect our gas line, <clears throat> right up here, if you put your hand up here, you're going to feel a fuel pepcock. Um, the pepcock is where the fuel comes out. You want to turn that to the side so you have no fuel leaking out when you change your carburetor. And on the other side, there's also a drain. So we're going to go to the other side so you can look at the carb drain. Because you need an 8 mil to take the carb drain off. So we're going to shrink down here. Now your carb drain is right here. And you need 8 mil bolt off there. And then you're going to just put that bolt right back on. Because you're not going to need that drain anymore. So we can take that off. And now we just need to take our fuel line off, which is also on this side. Now this line here, now that that, or this bolt here, now that that, uh, that is off of there, you can go ahead and just put that right back on. You don't need to play with that or, or touch that anymore. So we can. carb again here's our carb right here and we're gonna to want to pull the fuel line off it fuel lines right here so we're gonna pull that fuel line off if you have a hard time pulling off a fuel line um, it's easy error if you take a set of needle nose I have a set over here And if you just put them on each, or on each side here, I'm gonna, it's a little awkward here with the camera, but it's, uh, there we go. Once you wiggle it back and forth like that, it'll usually pop off. There we go. Okay, so now we got all our hoses off, except for this one line here. Now this one line here is gonna be, uh, we're gonna put a, a screw in the end of it, and we're gonna plug it. We don't need this line anymore. This is for the temperature sensor. So it has coolant that runs into it and uh, <clears throat> it doesn't need to run into it anymore. It's, uh, it, it just doesn't, it's not needed. But um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this line here 
and we'll probably join it. To that line right here. Um, I'll show you how to do that too. Um, so if you just give me a minute, I'll be right back. Okay, so what I did was I just took it off. Um, all it does is when it heats up here, then it, it hits a signal here and, that, and then it closes the choke. So we can actually just leave that right on there like that. We don't need to touch it at all. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this, uh, this carb the rest of the way off. We're gonna pull it out the other side. It's draining a bit of gas right now, so. Or I might just pull it out the top here. Oops. So I'll probably just maybe give it a little finagle around. It's just right now my, uh, my fuel shut off valve here is kind of trailing around. There we go. And that's the stock carb is out. Now, the only thing that I want to do is I want to save this plug right here off the stock carb. And it's going to, because I want to hook this wire back to the wire over here. Um, and the reason I want to do that is, <clears throat> is because uh, that's for your, uh, your thermostat and you want your thermostat to be able to work. So we're going to uh, fix that up right now and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so I switched that over to the right side um, just because it's a lot easier. Uh, I like this side because the fuel lines over here, there's a lot of stuff over here that I can uh, go ahead and, and do over here. So now we're gonna be putting our Nibby Carb in. The great thing about this Nibby Carb is you do not have to change the intake. It works perfect. And you don't have to change the um, air, 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 air intake hose. You don't have to change any of this. It's actually perfect. It works perfect with this carburetor. So we're just going to push all these lines out of the way that we don't need right now. And I'm going to get some light up underneath. Now, you might have noticed in any of some of my videos, if you've watched, I love this carburetor. This carburetor comes pre-tuned to you. You don't have to do any adjustments. You do get um, in the box when you uh, open your nippy car, you do get jets. So you can uh, you can put the jets in, you can uh, adjust. Some people like a different kind of jet. It's, it's, it all depends. It, it depends on the people or person and it depends on the bike too and elevation, different things. Uh, but you do get the extra jets and then you get the nippy car. Uh, the Nibby carbs are fantastic. This is your uh, idle adjust right here, and here's your choke. So, when we install this, it's going to be like this. This is how that carb's going to be installed, and it's going to look just like that installed in there. Now, after you install this, um, this carb, you have to choke it. If you want to put these panels back on here, yes, some people do, some leave them off. Um, but I, I want to show you what you can do is, so if, when we take our carb, again, it's, we're not going to put it in just yet, but I want to show you something. When we run our line down here and we'll get our carb in place. And like I said, it is actually a perfect fit to fit in there. So it fits in there perfectly, just like that. Now, every time you have to choke the bike, you're just going to have to reach over the top of the motor and pull that choke up like that until it warms up. Once the bike warms up, you just reach in and tap it down and then you can drive. Uh, that's the only difference is that you're not gonna have the electric choke anymore. You are gonna have your, uh, to choke the machine yourself and that's the choke right there. So again, if you watch my hand coming through the back here, I can just reach in, pull the choke up. Once the machine's warmed for a couple of, maybe a minute or two, reach back in, pop it down and that's it. Um, and that's the only difference between this carb and the other carb. And this one has a little bit more performance and I'll show you why. I'll come back out through the top here. Now, if you look inside here, uh, where the needle valve is, if you notice it's all polished, everything's polished in here. There's no uh, air restriction or fuel restriction at all. Nothing gets hung up. This is just a beast. I love this carburetor. Um, the only like, difference, like I said, is right here is where your throttle cable goes in. And you'll notice the throttle cable on this is really thick here. Right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind this down but you don't need to grind it down if you don't have a grinder that's fine I'm going to show you how to uh, get it to the size we want it 
But if you don't have a grinder, that's fine. You can always use a file too. A file will take that down very quickly. I'll show you, uh, I'll grab a file and I'll show you. So I went and got my file. And all you would do is grab it like that. Hold it with a set of that. And then file it. And you'll notice as I file on that, it goes very quickly. Um, it's a very soft metal. So I'm gonna probably get my grinder and grind that down to the size I need. But once I get it to the size, like I said, though, you can use, like I said, just a file, and it's going to take some time, but you are modifying your motorcycle, right? So modifying your motorcycle takes time, takes some patience, but we're going to get this all thing down, and then basically what you're going to do is you're going to want to take... See how fast it's coming off? Uh, but we're gonna take that down. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna get my grinder and do it. But we're gonna take that down and we're gonna make it small enough. To fit through that hole. So that hole right there, you hear? We're gonna make it fit through there. And then, the cable will go down here. Well, I'll take this box thing out. Okay, the cable will go down, slide down along there. And it, so that is about the size you're gonna make it. That roundness right there. Um, see how it, it just kind of loops in there like that? And that's the way we're gonna make it. So I'm gonna get my grinder. I'm gonna give it a quick grind and I'll be right back. And like I said, you can do it with a file. You don't need to have a grinder necessarily. A file will work perfectly. And uh, let's get our throttle cable started and we'll get it installed. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, the only thing I've done is uh, I did fix up my tip here. So I changed the tip, <clears throat> made it slip in and out of the, the top of the opening, no problem. Uh, again, hacksaw. Now, or sorry, uh, file. Now, because you're gonna have a restriction um, to how much uh, cable you get because there's this long divider on right here. So if you notice, all I did was I took a, a set of vice grips, I put them on each side and I used a hacksaw and I cut down the center here and I also cut it off right here so that I could slip this off the cable, but I didn't hit the cable. So as soon as I got through there, just enough with the hacksaw, I, uh, I took this off and I cut it off around here and I only cut it halfway if you notice and then I just snapped it off and uh, here it is so I'll show you why I did that because um, you want to get all of your cable up here you want to be able to get all of that uh, to put the top on so now I'm gonna go ahead and take the top off our carb and we'll go ahead and we'll set this all up right away Okay, spring, take out the needle valve. Now in the needle valve, there's a little plastic buffer. Some have it, some don't. This one does. So we're gonna take our top right here. We're gonna slide it on first. And it might wiggle around at the top. I'm not worried about that right now. Uh, we're gonna put our spring in. Okay, now I gotta remember to put that black spacer on. Then my needle valve, like that, and then uh, that's all together. Now, I, uh, I'm not gonna put it on yet, because if you noticed, I strung out my throttle cable from the top. I'll, I'll feed it back down in a second. I just wanna show you how this goes together. Uh, because when I come back, I'll already have this together. So, and then once you have that like that, and it's like that, you just slip your rubber cap down, 
over the top and it will hold it right in place like that. So now I'm gonna rerun my throttle cable and I will be right back. Okay, we're back. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna install the carb. Um, the carb is the easiest thing to install. You'll notice I already ran my cable back, put the top back on, have my needle valve in here. Um, so let's uh, put the carb in. So the carb is gonna go in through the top here. We're just gonna slip it in and it does have the tab on it so that you know exactly when you hit it. It's right there. I know I'm in there perfect right now because I'm at that tab. So I just have to tighten uh, my screws. So I have to put this uh, on and the clamp is there too for that. And it stretches right over. You don't have to change anything. Everything's right there. So I'm gonna go to the other side and I'm gonna tighten up those screws. So I will take you right over. Again, we're just going to put our clamp in right here. Now I just have to tighten it up. The carb's already in the right place. You might have to hold the clamp there just at the top of it until you get it started. And you want to make sure that's just tight because you don't want air sucking at the intake. Just want to make sure that's nice and airtight on there, just like that. And you'll see that it's uh, it's tightened against there. Now this line right here, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put a, a bolt up in it. I'll show you what I mean by that. So this line right here, we're not gonna be using that anymore. It's a vacuum line. So I'm just gonna put a bolt up in it like that. Then I slide my clamp down, and once I clamp that, there'll be no air. I can just shove that up in there. I don't need it anymore. And then we're gonna go back to the other side. And we're gonna put our top on our carburetor. And now when you put your top on, you wanna make sure that this little slit right here is on the other side so that would be where your idle screw is going to be and you want to make sure that the long straight down one is on this side and you want to make sure it goes all the way down to the bottom before you put it on i'm going to make a little adjustment to my throttle cable here just so I get more room. If you adjust your throttle and bring it down the inside, it will be give it enough room to run all the way down. And uh, clank on the top here. So uh, we'll do that. I'm just gonna run it a different way so it has a little bit more room and I'll break that. So you'll notice now <clears throat> I ran my cable a little bit different. I ran it not behind my forks, but up right here. And I'm not too worried about it there. It's not gonna move around or anything as long as I pinch it in this little clasp here. So uh, that's how you run it. And it, if you notice now down here, I got a lot more cable to play with right here. Uh, so I can go into the top of my car, no problem now. Uh, so let's get that started. Let's uh, go ahead and put the top back on the car. And uh, we'll get that all installed. So first thing I need to do is let's get my throttle cable. Top first. my spring and 
I can't remember my, I forgot my little black cap. Okay, and now I need a valve. And that's it. I close it together like that. Now, <clears throat> you'll notice I have a lot of throttle cable there. Um, I can adjust it up at the top too, so I can get all of my throttle cable, but let's go ahead and get this installed first. Again, you wanna make sure your tab is lined up with the other side and that the long run is on this side. So the, one, the line all the way down goes on this side and then the other one is on the other side and we'll put our top on our car. Just like that. And then remember our little rubber boot. We'll bring our little rubber boot down to keep it in place. Now I might zip tie that, I'm not too sure, but I will probably fix it a little better. Now, if I look, I can see that my throttle is fully rotating. I'm getting full throttle on that. And now we just have to put our other clamp on and then we could probably put our gas in and try to start it. Um, we, we are gonna have to put a wire on our thermostat, but we don't have to worry about that for now. It should start without the thermostat wire on. So uh, let's, this is our fuel line right here. We'll go ahead and pop that back on. I'm not going to push that clamp all the way down just yet. I'm going to get my other clamp so we can put that hose clamp on. And this hose clamp, if you remember, I did it from the top last time. Fix my throttle cable again. Like I said, I'll probably zip tie that up someplace. Probably right, right there. Okay, so that should be uh, good for that. We got our air box on. And we got our car pretty well installed. And then, like I said, I can zip tie that line. I can even line it up with this tank right here so that I have my throttle, no problem. Uh, so now we should try to start it. I will have to connect to a the battery, I think the battery is still disconnected in this one. And once I get the battery connected, we will fire it right up. This is our first Makuni carb install on an X22 GT250, man. Look at this. It's right in, bud. Don't even need a special intake or nothing. Isn't that nice? I'm going to try it there. I'm going to take it for a drive in a sector. I don't want to rev it too much because it's, the throttle's like right there, man, and it wants to take off, so I don't want to take off. But, uh, yeah, man, this thing is awesome. Okay, so I got my battery uh, pack hooked up there. It's running my battery. So we're gonna, what you're going to want to do is, remember I told you, you're going to want to go in through the back here. If you put this panel back on, just reach down here. This is your choke. Pop your choke up and then fire it up. So if you come up here. You'll see it tried to jump forward there. Um, Choke's on, so you might want to hold the brake. So it's nice and warm here, so I'm going to pop the choke off. There we go. And that's how you install your uh, Divi race car on your X22 GT250. So we come down here, everything looks good. Like I said, the idle is very easy. Your idle is right here. So if you want to up your idle or down your idle, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. It's too high. And I'm 
want it to idle right around there, about 1500 to 2000 It's perfect. And then uh, take it for a drive. See how you like it?